more sugar today than I have in years, and I'm hitting a... <laughs> I'm about to, to eat some Welcome to my world <laughs> every day. Hi, I'm Cara Nicoletti. Hi, I'm Wiley Dufresne, formerly of WD-50 and Alder Restaurants, currently at Dew's Donuts and Coffee here in Brooklyn, New York. Today, we're going to be making churro pops. Love it. We're going to put ice cream on a stick, and we're going to roll it in churro-flavored crumbs, and we're also going to make the classic soft-serve dip that you put on a soft-serve like cone. Crunch? Yeah, the oh, crunchy, cool. crunchy shell. Um, but we're going to make that donut-flavored. Whoa. So what we have is we have some donut meal. Those are just donuts from the donut shop that, mm -hmm. that didn't work out right, they weren't quite the right shape. Over at Dew's, we call a bad donut a don't. <laughs> so we take the don'ts and we, we dry them in the oven. Yep. And we grind them up and we make a, what we call a donut meal. Um, cool. We're gonna blend that with some white chocolate, a little bit of canola oil, and some unrefined coconut oil. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blend those together to make the shell. This is a pistachio ice cream base. We're gonna put that in there and we're gonna make some liquid nitrogen ice cream. This how-to is inspired by Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. Nitro is different from other cold brews because it's poured from a tap that infuses the cold brew with nitrogen, creating millions of micro bubbles that give it a frothy texture. It's these micro bubbles that make Nitro Cold Brew special, but they're not like the ones in your soda. Nitro bubbles are less dense, which is what makes it feel smoother and look frothier. This velvety texture makes it a perfect dessert companion. Okay, you put the pistachio ice cream base in here and you add the liquid nitrogen directly to the ice cream? Correct, we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna turn the mixer on, and then we're gonna pour some liquid nitrogen in there and we're gonna pipe it into these molds, we're gonna make our dip, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna roll our dip in more donut crumbs that we've seasoned with a ton of cinnamon mm -hmm. and some sugar, so it has so the classic churro flavors. And then we have some, some of the classic sauces, we have some caramel, we have some chocolate sauce, we have some strawberry, and some passion fruit. Amazing. Um, the equipment you need for this is you need a mixer mm -hmm. uh, with, a, with a paddle, ideally with the scraper blade uh, mm -hmm. on it to, to really scrape the ice cream off the sides, a blender, because we're gonna blend our dip, and then we're just gonna warm a little bit the chocolate and the oil on the stove. And then of course you have to have some liquid nitrogen. Of course. Uh, <laughs> which you have lying around. Yes. Right? yes. In the pantry. Cool. Okay, so what is the first step? Are we gonna make the ice cream? Yeah, let's okay. let's let's make the ice cream. I don't um, I don't think you wanna pour all of that in there, but I don't you can pour so. some of it in there. Okay, you just say. So we're gonna turn this, wow, this, this guy on. So thick. Turn this guy on. And we're just gonna make some ice cream. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's a little tricky because you can't quite see it what's going on. It's really cool, yeah. But it's fun. It's so, um, it almost looks like marshmallow. Yeah, the key to ice cream that's really nice in your mouth, that has a beautiful texture to it, is the faster you make it. Because the longer it takes for ice cream to freeze, the crystals, the crystals grow, and that's where you get icy ice cream or, or freeze it, what feels like freezer burn. Yeah. So the faster you make it and the colder you make it, the smaller the crystals, and the better the mouth feels, the better the texture. So that's what's wonderful about liquid nitrogen. So there we go, there's that ice cream. Is gorgeous. So. It looks now, like spackle. It's <laughs> yeah, nice. Wow. So we're just gonna. Oh my god. This is almost like pudding y because it's so smooth and creamy and like rich. It doesn't have the like when you get bad ice cream that's kind of almost crunchy, like you have to chew it. This is just butter. So this liquid nitrogen is not what is in the coffee, the nitro cold brew, correct? No, this is definitely not what's in the coffee. That's nitrogen. Mm -hmm. This is liquid nitrogen. Again, they're close, but not, not quite same the same. Same Yeah. So now we're going to pipe. Just gonna, we're going to pipe our molds, yep. fill our molds up with our ice cream. Wow, it's the perfect texture. A little bit of ice cream. Yeah, you want to go ahead and put the sticks in? Sure. And each, each guy. Wow, that is such a perfect texture. Put this in the freezer and let it freeze up. And are we gonna make our? In the meantime, we're gonna make we're gonna make our shell. We're gonna take this donut meal. It's really dry, mm -hmm. and we're gonna give it some fat, and we're gonna just puree it and puree it. The donut's almost gonna liquefy. We're gonna warm this and this. This is just a little bit of canola oil, like I said, with the white chocolate. We want this to be about the donut. We want it to taste of donuts. Okay. So that's why we're picking things that are somewhat neutral. So now we're gonna put some crumbs in there. You've let it run for like five to seven minutes till it's become kind Whoa. of homogenous. 
Wow, it really coats your mouth. So let's make some pops, what do you say? Let's do it. Awesome. So then they're gonna come, they're gonna pop right out. There you go. Ooh. Or pop. <laughs> there you go. Cute. Now what we're gonna do, we've unmolded our ice cream. So we're gonna get it nice and cold. This is the fun part. You wanna hold it? Get it pretty cold. Whoa. It's okay. so cold. <laughs> That's good. So then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna roll it in the shell. Mm -hmm. So this is our donut shell, and then kind of quickly, before it gets too cold, put our crumbs on it. Yes. And again, this is donut meal seasoned with sugar and a lot of cinnamon. So it really feels it so good. It feels of a churro. It is. Yes. And then just to be sure that everything happens, go back in there for one more dip. Do you want to make one? I do. Awesome. <laughs> Get in there. There you go. Now I would go ahead and crumb it. You could do it like that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it's sort of like the the dip that you get from the ice cream trucks on the street. It is, it, it certainly is is in the same spirit as sort of the soft serve ice cream a dip. All right, so here's our churro pop. Yes. And churros classically would go with either a chocolate sauce or a caramel sauce, yep. so we made a caramel and a chocolate sauce, and then we also made a strawberry sauce and a passion fruit curd, because we thought it would Amazing. be fun. Amazing. They so, so good. you should get on in there. I want to try passion fruit. Wow. It's got cinnamon, mm -hmm. that donut crunch. It's then, really donut-y. And it's got the, then it's got the nice... And the texture of the ice cream is incredible. Wow, wow, wow. How long will these last? This is like the same as the ice cream in your freezer. It will last, as, they'll last for a while, I mean months, but hopefully right. they're not around that long. No, they wouldn't they're be. They're gone well before then. <laughs> they, won't, they won't be. So that's that's a churro pop right there. I think it's a it's a sort of fun frozen novelty as they refer to them, and it, it would be would be great with all sorts of things. It's good it'll with be, these sauces. It'll be great with coffee. Absolutely, hundred uh -huh. percent.